Hi, so I'm here today at Earthig in North Wales. I'm uh, going to be doing a recipe using fresh autumn vegetables and herbs. So if you want to join me, we'll go and have a look. Wow, there's a fantastic crop of bramlers. There's over 100 different varieties of apples being grown here. Bramlers are the ones I want to focus on, just because I've got a couple of recipes in mind that are going to use those really well. So the first recipe we're going to make is a parsnip and apple soup. So we're now in the historic kitchen, a fabulous, really, really, really great space. We've got Bramley apple, freshly picked, really, really good smell. We've got parsnips, so again, parsnips, bit of a frost on them, helps to bring out the sugars in them, makes them really, really sweet, really flavourful. Uh, and then the usual suspects, some onion and some garlic. Start by chopping the onion, fairly large pieces. The reason for that is that they'll pick up more flavour when we sauté them, so a bit of caramelisation. Garlic, give it a really good squash, and we want a couple of cloves of garlic off that. Give them a bit of a squash, and then just chop. They're now going to go over to the pan, and we're going to start sautéing them. Now it's sizzling away, we're just going to move it slightly off that heat, just to let it go down a little bit, because I want it to sauté quite nicely for sort of three or four minutes while we prepare the parsnips. Peel them, get rid of the trimmings. A little tip with these, by the way, they make great parsnip crisps. Chop the parsnips into large chunks. I'm going to add those now into the onions and garlic. Nutmeg's going in there. Nutmeg just adds kind of a sweetness and that sort of earthy tone to it. We're going to move on to the apple, take the peel off, and then we're going to cut this so we end up with fairly thick wedges. Take out that core bit. We're just going to roughly chop this, so we're going to get that all sauteed down. The parsnips are really starting to take on a little bit of colour and soften down. So finally going to put in the apple. And as soon as everything's stirred really well, we're going to add in some water, which I've got there, just hot and ready to go. Just enough to cover everything. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, vegetable bouillon. And I would simply wait 10, 15 minutes for that to boil and soften down. We're going to use an oil to garnish the soup with. Got some fresh sage from the garden, which we picked earlier. Take top leaves off that give it a quick slice across and then just use the back of the knife just to bash it and what that does is just bruises it and just brings out some of the oils so that's now going to go into the oil which is nice and hot and we don't want to fry it we just want to just heat it through so that's fine that can come off now so now the soup's boiled the vegetables are all soft the apples are starting to break down we're going to blend this almost there but just needs a little bit more seasoning so I'm just going to add a little bit of salt that's better so that's really bring. I can get the parsnip. I've got sharp apple, really seasonal and really great flavours. We're going to serve the soup now, straight from there into a bowl, plain and simple with a little bit of that oil on the top. Nice piece of crusty bread. And I just feel that soup is, is why cold nights were invented. Perfect for a cold evening. Mm -hmm. 